Hi everyone, welcome back. So this is day 11, 12 days of Christmas. Um, today I came up with something really fun. I was on Pinterest and I saw all these planners and I was like, hmm, what if I make a planner slash traveler notebook out of paper? I think that would be really cool. So that's how I came up with this inspo. And it literally is just like a planner. If you see, like you wouldn't even know it's made out of paper if someone just opened this up. So I made it like identical to a cover or something that I had found, um, except the measurement. I kind of just did my own measurements, but I have the deep side pockets and you see like one side is a little wider than the other, just like a real planner. Um, and here you can add, you know, a real notebook, like a traveler notebook. Here I just have a homemade notepad that I made and tucked it in to show you that there's a lot of wiggle room in there. And then you have your others. I've made this a little bit um, thicker too so that you have room here. And then these I kind of made like regular slots, just like you would in a planner, just kind of um, sliding all your little pretty things in there or page flags or any of that kind of stuff. So it came out really fun and I think you guys are gonna like this because it's quick. Um, I actually had just tried filming it a certain way and I think I'm going to change what I'm doing as far as the steps because you have to keep scoring and going back and forth. So I'm going to number these pockets with you and then we're gonna put it together, assemble it. So, um, but this will really look like a real planner. You guys, when you're done with it, you'll see. All right, so I'm going to use cardstock for the outside cover. So go ahead and grab a scoreboard. And sorry if it's a little dim, it's super rainy and gray here today. So this is gonna be eight and a half by 11 um, cardstock, just so your standard cardstock size. I'm using 110 pound weight. You don't have to use 110 pound, but obviously it's more stable. And then at the 11 inch score, we're gonna literally just score between five and six inches every quarter inch. So five, five and a quarter, five and a half, five and three quarters, and six. All right, so let me put this up for those who want to see it. But I will say it out loud, so it's gonna be five inches, and this is gonna be just be like our spine area. Five and a quarter. Never fails. Five and a half. Five and three quarters and six. All right, and this is a little finicky. So what I like to do is just take the outside cover. So the outside lines, I like to put that down first. And then just like you would like a mini album. And then I kind of like to fold it in after I do that. So let me do this side first to give it that little round look to it. So this is obviously supposed to be round. So I like to take the middle and just like, fold it in with my bone folder. So it just rounds it off a little bit and it will give you that little rounded look. And then from there, you can kind of just push it in. It makes it easier if you do it that way. So it's, you can see it's a lot more rounded than it was. Okay, and then I wanna corner round my corners because in a planner, they literally are rounded. So just to give it that look, make sure you corner around all your edges because I'm gonna be cornering rounding most of these. So right there. And then if you wanna pop a cover on the front, you can do four and three quarters by eight and a quarter. And I'm gonna corner these edges just like on here to match. So you can see the edges are matched. Um, if you want to make this really solid and stable, you can laminate it and it will be like a real planner. Um, you could even add a little bungee cord in here to wrap it around so it looks like a traveler notebook or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. Or if you're gonna add ribbon, definitely add it on before you put on your cover in the front. So I'm not using pretty cardstock paper. It kind of ran out, so I have to use the tail end, which is this brown, which I know a lot of people who use junk journals and stuff like this color. So I'm gonna pop that on. And you already have your binding. Again, if you don't wanna do my like little notebook thing, put a little um, 
like eyelet there and again the elastic band okay so we're gonna start with this side the left side so I'm gonna number the pockets with you and I think we're gonna go along that way so let me see here So the first pocket is going to be one. Hold on, I'm looking for my number two. I think I misplaced it. One second. So anyway, while we prepare, it, the left pocket's going to be nine and a half by four and three quarters. right side I'm gonna have to write it again so you don't see it okay so we're gonna just score this three times around at a half an inch so start with your long side half an inch and then do your left and right side a half an inch so you could do half an inch, nine and a half, or just kind of go all the way around like this. So it's just like this, three times around. And then you're just gonna cut off these little squares, okay, both of them. Now I'm not going diagonal into it because too much, because I don't want there to be like a gap when we round it off. I might have made that too much. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do as we go along. There's gonna be four pockets on the side, so let's just go ahead and, the best way to do this is take your number one and put it to the side, okay? All right, so the second one. All right, let me see where this is at, so hold on, I'm gonna have to write this. So number two is going to be four and one fourth by seven and a half inches, okay? And this one, we're just scoring at a half an inch twice. Okay, so we're gonna do four and a quarter by seven and a half, so this is pocket number two. So remember, it's gonna be open on this side, so half an inch and then do the bottom at a half an inch and I'll show you what I mean just so you're not confused see how it's gonna be open like this so that's why so just leave that we're just basically scoring this and this okay but the other pockets are gonna be a little different so now put on your number two and this is a good way to visualize how you're gonna want your paper to so like we can stack it and see this is one and this is two. Now we're doing three. Okay. Let me just measure this because I'm going it down. Okay, so at the four and a quarter mark. So we're, our third paper is gonna be five by four and a quarter. So we're gonna, at the four, just make sure this is on the four and a quarter mark. And we're gonna go at a quarter inch three times around. So remember, not a half an inch, do a quarter inch on this. So you're measuring me wrong. So quarter inch three times around, two long sides, one short side. So it looks like that, okay? So that is number three. And after the fourth pocket, we're going to go ahead and stack them up and glue them down. So the fourth pocket, again, put it at your four and a quarter mark. And it's going to be four by four and a quarter. And again, score it at a quarter inch three times around. So one, two, three. Okay. And just make sure you have this on here. 
And now we're gonna put on that side and then we'll do the other side. And the measurements are different on that side because I made it shorter. All right, so let's start with the first pocket. So it should be your pocket number one. Go ahead and fold that all in if you cut it. Now it's gonna go on like this. So remember before you glue it on, you're gonna to wanna to corner round it. So just these sides right here. Sorry if it's a little blurry, it's that shadow from the uh, overcast. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and glue that down. I'm gonna put this under so it doesn't interfere with my pocket. So I put the small ones over the long one. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down. And this is gonna be our first pocket. And I'll show you, because I know there's a shadow going on there from the uh, cardstock. And you could even take your bone folder just to make sure it's on there solid. So you have that nice deep pocket there. I'm sorry, I don't have enough glue on here. Okay, then you're gonna take your number two. And remember we scored that only twice. So we're just gonna take this and just take out that square and fold it. And when you put it on like this, we're going to corner around this side right here. So it's good like that, and I'm gonna corner around that too. Because before it was like your scoreboard was in the way constantly going back and forth. I think this makes it easier so we can assemble it together. on today. I'm smudging it all as I go on. Okay, and then we're going to grab three. And remember, three has the smaller scores because those are gonna be our like regular pockets. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out again. The little squares, it's pretty repetitive. Just kinda, you know, these are gonna be regular pockets. These are just deeper. So if you wanna add like a bookmark or something with a lot of length, like a ticket, this would be good for that. I didn't cut this all the way. Okay, now let me see something, because I stacked it a little different. So, I kind of stacked it, so it's actually not all the way down to the bottom, so I kind of eyeballed it, and you're gonna have this room here. So I didn't make the pocket go all the way down, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna kind of like put it in the mid air like that. And then you're not gonna see that bottom piece, because the other pocket is gonna go over it. And it Buddy, someone's up from their nap. Okay, so I'm putting that there. So you see how I have this little room left? Hold on, I'm gonna let this dry. See how I have that room left on the bottom? 
Hi, buddy. Oh, no. All right, and then the last pocket is the four by four and a quarter. And again, we had scored it, so we're just gonna cut that. This is gonna be our last one. Bandit. Come here, buddy. We're gonna put this on. He's like, I'm up and you're gonna give me attention. Okay, and then there's this, and we're going to just stack it on like that. Okay, I need to put this glue on better. Okay, I think he's falling back asleep. <laughs> Oops, wait, corner around this too, because that's going to be showing. And just pop that on. And it's going to be nice and stacked up. And I have to really hold this down, you guys, because I'm not letting it dry fast enough. Okay, so it's going to look like that. some inserts in just so you can see bandit come on buddy so I'm gonna put something here I'm gonna put it in here actually I'm put this one here okay and now we're gonna go ahead and do the right side so you can see that's all set up and obviously you can make this really pretty even put a little clip in so now the other side let me get this out of the way is going to be our other pocket now let's again let's do the same thing we did so I feel like it's just easier to number it that way and then stack it up so the right side now remember your right pocket is going to be open this way so make sure your direction of paper the scoring is going to be open this way okay so the right side the first one is going to be a nine and a half by four inch paper and we're going to score at a half an inch each way just like we did with that first one so hold on let me see how's my paper going so i'm actually going to do it hold on half an inch half an inch and half an inch three times around and remember your pockets can be open this way so make sure it's your score is going to be on this side okay your long score if that makes sense so that's our right first one. We only have three on the right, so we're going to do two more. Buddy, you're going to have to wait. got to wait. I'm sorry. Next one is going to be a four by six, and we're going to score it at three times around at a quarter an inch. So put it at the four inch score and do a quarter quarter and this is like a regular pocket so don't worry about what side the score is on so three times around one two and three okay and we have one more pocket if my dog allows it so the third one is going to be four by four and a half remember at the four inch score scored at um a quarter inch three times around. So one, two, and three. So just like this, okay? Two long, one short. All right. And so let's grab our number one.
then cut off the little boxes. Oh, nobody. It's worse than a kid. <laughs> Bandit, stop, buddy. I'll be done in a minute, okay? So cut that off. And we're going to do the same thing we did on as the other side. I can't even lift him up anymore because he's so big. <laughs> okay, now once you have that, corner around this side. You could, if you have to trim it, trim it. I'm just going to pop that on right here. See, this is sticking out a little bit, so let me corner into that a little bit. Like I said, you can corner do these, but I just didn't want to confuse you. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. So pretty much you just need the measurements and just do all this. It's only like a half an inch and quarter inch around most of these papers. Okay, so I have that dry on there. And then your second pocket. Grab number two. Same thing, just cut those little corners off. Like that. And I did the same thing with the pocket. I kind of put it in the air, eyeballed it of where I wanted it, and then I glued it on. So for me, what I did was kind of measure. Oh, he's like, you're not gonna pay attention to me? I'm just gonna eat your stuff on the floor. So I kind of just like eyeballed it a little bit lower than this pocket right here. And this is a very long pocket, so this one is really good for like a bookmark or something. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that on here. Right here. Have glue everywhere, you guys. Okay, and then your last pocket, which is the same thing. We scored it at a quarter inch and we are just taking it. Now he's playing with something. <laughs> okay, so here's that. I'm like, please, please make it through the video so I can do this. I've been running around doing errands and all that kind of stuff. Of course, my parents are still in town and it's hard to get a tutorial up right now. So I already kind of recorded this once <laughs> and then I stopped and I was like, this might be an easier way. I hope this is easier than doing score tape, score tape. Okay, I guess I'll find out in the comments. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to glue this down. This is the last one. And again, I did not corner around it before I put on the glue. So let me corner on that. And I'm just going to pop that on. Just hold on to that. And then we have it glued on. I feel like I put this a little higher than I wanted it to be compared to my other one. You see it? So you can make that a little bit lower. It's really just preference. I mean, I tried to make it just identical to this planner. So that's why mine kind of looks like this, but you can obviously lower the pocket so it's just like here. So at the end, if you guys want to see, Mine's just a little bit lower if you want to add it lower because this does look a little high. Okay, 
and now we are done. You could even do like, I don't know if you've seen like the little license window, so you can add like a, um, you know, like a, not like an ID, I guess that's what I'm saying, like a little ID card or something. So actually, no, I made a notepad for this, hold on. I made another one, just a little homemade one. I'm going to show you because you have extra wiggle room right here. Okay. And then you can just add all your little bits and pieces in there. I just literally have these random little things that you can add. You can add paper clips. I mean, and you have a lot of wiggle room because when you close this, it's gonna be like, you know, like that. So you're gonna have all that room. And of course, oh my goodness, I am not gluing right today. Hold on, guys. And then you wanna add your eyelets. So what I did was I added my eyelet on the second and third one because it's a nice little easy measurement. I, I see you, buddy. I, I know you're there. I know it. You just gotta give me a minute, okay? So I'm just kind of eyeballing it right here and right here. And that's where I'm gonna put my eyelids. Oh no, I dropped a paper and now he's got a hold of it. And I did four holes, so two on each side. And I'm just gonna add my little eyelets in. If I can find them. I'm just not on top of my game today. Okay, hold on. Where did I put my eyelids? Anyway, hold on. I'm gonna put this here. I need to add something spicy in here. Just a little shaker. Now this I had took off of one of the things I made, so I'm just kind of popping it in there. But I want to put eyelets on, and you guys, I don't know where I put my eyelets. Oh, I found them. All right. Because I feel like it's not going to be the album if I don't add this on. So I'm just adding some little gold ones. I like to put them both on and then just pop them in. You can see it's like that. And you can see after you put your eyelets in, it really starts to look like a real traveler notebook or real planner. And it. You guys, I am so sorry, but if I didn't get this video up today, it probably wasn't gonna happen for a while. Bandit, can I have that? Can I have that? Thank you. Come here. Oh no, he's running from me. He's like, no, you cannot have that. <laughs> All right. So look, already it's looking like a real planner. And then I just added my string that I love, and you can just wrap this around. I'm just gonna put that in here. I think I might just do like one time around. I mean, one string around. This does fray a little bit, this string that I got, but I love it. 
I would like a little bit of a thinner one. I might find a smaller one online. Okay, and you could do two strings or you can like thread it back and forth like I did with mine. I'm gonna go ahead and just run it through one more time and have it come out the other end and then tie it. Oh no, I just pulled this through. Hold on. I hope I made this long enough. Okay, and I'm gonna pull it from the top. I'm sorry if my arm's in the way. Oops, I didn't do that right. So I just kind of did that. So it really is one, but obviously you could use two different strings and put it on there. And voila! And you could just add your little things. Oops, let me tape for that. But as you can see, it's so easy and you can just add whatever you want in there, just like a real planner. And this is coming from my advent, by the way. I just wanted to pop some things in just to see how it looked. So right there is just some vellum, but you can see it's a nice planner. Sorry, the view's a little weird. So, um, and then if you want the same size back cover, you can do that too. All right, guys, thank you. Didn't think I would make it through with my dog. I appreciate it and hope this was an easy to follow tutorial. All right, guys, I have one more day left and I honestly don't know what I'm doing yet for because I have a few different ideas, but I hope you guys like this one. All right, guys, talk to you soon.